Norway's $47 billion coastal highway. The land of fjords in Norway delights us with truly magical, colorful sceneries, mainly thanks to the narrow and deep inlets of water flanked by cliffs. But the same topographical wonders also create very difficult challenges when it comes to connecting the cities by road. Norway is an environmentally conscious country and requires solutions that help both its traffic and preserve its pristine fjords. It cannot keep the status quo, though. The Norwegian western coast is crossed by the E39 highway that connects the north and the south, interrupted by seven ferry crossings. You need 21 hours to make the 1,100-kilometer journey from Kristiansand to Trondheim along the coast. Developing this huge area is also a problem, as ferries depend on the weather and are too slow for the 21st century. The government wants to help the traffic flow, so it's thinking of means to connect the land bits with asphalt. And it's not easy. The infrastructure plans will cost Norway no less than $47 billion and would spawn amazing solutions for crossing the fjords. Welcome back to the Billion Dollar Projects. Today, we are back together and we will talk about the Norwegian Highway a bold and incredible project. Hope you haven't forgotten our rule before the start of the video, the rule of three clicks. That's right, you just click the like, subscribe, and notification buttons, and we can start. Here we go. Currently, the E39 connects Trondheim down to Kristiansand, with various major cities along the way. The entire trip, ferries included, has a total travel time of 21 hours. Ferries crossing at the fjords currently accounts for much of the travel time. By the end of the project, vehicles will be able to make an uninterrupted drive from Trondheim at the top of Norway all the way down to the western coast of Kristiansand and even Oslo on the southeast part of the country with the option to stop at all the major coastal cities along the way. The western coast of Norway generates about 60% of Norway's export value. Fluidly connecting the whole western coast has the potential to generate lots of income for Norway as well as towns and cities that are along the coast, as they will be much more accessible. A project as monumental as this needs all hands on deck and hands the project has. The multidisciplinary project requires people with knowledge in safety, materials technology, social economics, structural engineering, operation and maintenance, climate and environment, etc. One aspect of the project will be a considerably challenging engineering hurdle to leap over. The various fjords, long, narrow, and deep inlets of the sea, are going to be a challenge for engineers. For example, the Solafjorten crossing is the toughest crossing due to the harsh environment close to the Atlantic Ocean. Using bridges to connect points of land between fjords is the focal point of the project. The fjords are deep, which means traditional bridges with pillars to the bottom are not possible. Also, several of the fjords are too wide for suspension bridges. We use suspension bridges for bridges shorter than 2 kilometers. We have lots of knowledge of floating structures like platforms, etc., but these bridges are long and slim and behave differently in the waves and wind than a single floating point offshore. The goal for these bridges is for them to be strong enough to handle the constant battering of winds and waves and also to avoid fatigue. Engineers must keep this in mind while also noting they must keep coast and carbon footprint low. However, there is an amazing plan. Project members are developing a bridge that's essentially a floating underwater tunnel. Can you imagine driving through an underwater tunnel or underwater floating bridge? That's pretty awesome, isn't it? This project is filled with many firsts, largest, and longest titles for many of these bridges. A 5-kilometer-long floating bridge to cross Bjornfjorden is also in development, in combination with a long cable-stayed bridge, which can turn out to be the longest in the world. Practicing safe, eco-friendly, and sustainable building methods is of paramount importance for any major project. A massive safety concern for ships accidentally colliding into bridges. Project managers have to know, many of these fjords are also crossings for large ships. Bridges must be tall enough to still allow for the heavy flow of shipping traffic seen at such fjords. Larger ships can damage a bridge beyond repair if a collision takes place, and in some instances cause collapse. Other safety concerns include making sure the number of traffic fatalities or incidences is no higher than the Norway national average, which is quite low, and reducing the risk related to fires in the tunnels, which would be a nightmare in some of the longer tunnels in the project. As Norway continues to embark on the largest infrastructure project in the country's history, the world cannot help but be marveled at what it will accomplish in the years to come. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
Before the last second of the video, don't forget to turn on the notifications for more topics like this one. Subscribe to our channel and share the video. Maybe your friends will like it too. Have a beautiful day and meet you soon again.